Hi-o. Many times in my videos, I mentioned that CWAT is my favorite open source uh, labeling tool. And today is a big day. CWAT is being relaunched. Uh, I was very curious to talk about this topic, and suddenly uh, Anna, uh, CTO of uh, OpenCV AI, agreed to speak uh, with me and tell us what CWAT is today and where it's headed. Hi. Hi. Uh, thank you for the invitation. Uh, and uh, tell us why the rebranding happened, uh, the new development strategy, and uh, what to expect from CIVAT soon. Okay, yeah, sure. So yeah, uh, OpenCV.ai uh, kind of welcomes uh, CIVAT into its family of products. Uh, the reason for that is that we want to continue developing CIVAT and making it accessible and free for the community all over the world. Uh, the development of CVAT was stalled for quite some time because of like uh, Intel seized its operation and specifically seized the CVAT team, uh, which kind of limited the support that the team could provide to the existing users at CVAT.org and the large worldwide community that is using uh, CVAT GitHub repo. Uh, so OpenCV stepped in to kind of continue growing the community, continue developing the product and uh, provide a means to annotate data free uh, and in cloud. Thank you. And uh, before we go next, I want to mention that CIVAT is now on the product hunt and you can support it. Uh, do I understand correctly that the current uh, functionality will remain under an open source license and uh, will there will be Will there be any additional, uh, maybe paid functionality and uh, how you will develop uh, the product? Yeah, sure. Uh, two parts. First, uh, the open CV, uh, sorry, the open source repo for CVAT is going to be free, open source and under MIT license. So we can use it for any purpose, including commercial purpose, Please, please do. If you do, please drop us a line and we'll be happy to include you into the partners section in the README. Um, second part is Siva.ai, which is a hosted version of the tool uh, that runs in the cloud and allows you to not kind of go through the setup steps for uh, kind of creating the Siva instance for yourself, but rather just upload the data, annotate it quick, quickly, and get the results. So Siva.ai is going to um, is it is free? First, it's free. You can create an account there. You can upload the data, and you, this data is going to be private to you and the uh, only the people that you assigned as the annotators to it. We're not going to share it or sell it or anything. Um, Siva.ai is going to retain uh, ma major kind of functional functionality pieces as free. Uh, however, um, however, right now it doesn't have all the kind of features that you can do with the hosted functionality. For example, it has limited amount of uh, memory that you can use for your data or limited amount of tasks that you can create. So uh, we expect that later may, we may uh, open these as paid tires for this functionality. But the current uh, the current way that you could use CBAT will be will stay completely free. The other features that we are working hard we're uh, working on hard right now are uh, active learning. Uh, that means to uh, kind of use the results of your annotation for you know the first batch of images to create uh, pretty good um, auto annotated kind of predictions for the next batch of images to reduce the number of the number the amount of time that you spend to annotate the data. So this active learning functionality may or may not be paid. Uh, we will see uh, in the future, uh, but we are, I'm, I, at least I'm personally, I'm very excited about that because it's a logical thing to do. Um, we uh, are hard at work on new skeleton features, uh, a very nice means to annotate uh, key points on person's body or any other kind of key points that form a skeleton. And we plan to add 3D features until the end of this year. 
Yes, uh, the uh, active learning was exactly my second question and <laughs> how they the plan to support it because it's uh, nowadays it's a must have feature, I think. And uh, it's super cool uh, that you want to develop it. Uh, but active learning, it's pretty hard, for example, for skeleton uh, features or and uh, for something like this. And uh, what do you plan to support as active learning uh, what do you support now and what do you support uh, in future mm -hmm. so right now we don't support after active learning we support ai guided annotation meaning that we have some algorithms that do pre-annotation but it's kind of uniform so you kind of do pre-annotation using the already trained neural networks that are not modified according to your data uh so uh for active learning, our first target is detection, not because it's the most kind of time consuming problem, definitely not, it's probably the fastest, but we want to test the active learning capabilities on that. And our next target most probably will be related to skeletons. Excellent. And uh, the second question that uh, bothered me is about uh, uh, now is part of uh, OpenCV and AI. Uh, I already have interview with uh, Grigori, CTO of Experience AI, which I assume also is a part of it. And uh, I have a lot of videos about uh, OAC cameras, uh, which is supported by OpenCV AI. And uh, uh, can you tell me a little more about uh, the role of uh, OpenCV AI in CIVAT and uh, about the role of CIVAT in OpenCV AI? How will it uh, uh, elaborate with each other and how it will develop? Yeah, sure. So in OpenCV.ai, we kind of, I think we are happy. We are in kind of this lucky spot where we can. Uh, kind of build an ecosystem of different products from hardware to marketplace of models, right? So uh, yeah, what we have right now is uh, Oak, D, like Oak uh, family of cameras, including Oak, Oak D, Oak D Lite, Oak D Pro coming up. Uh, we have Siva that helps you annotate the images to build the models. And finally, we have a model place, which is a marketplace to host the models, sell the models, buy already pre-trained models by professionals. So kind of these all uh, joins nicely into an ecosystem of our products. Uh, Siva's role there is, yeah, uh, being a part of the ecosystem uh, and, uh, I mean, building the community that we have right now because kind of everything that we do is basically to help the community that is grown has grown around us. Yeah. It's cool. And uh, about, you already mentioned about some different tools to uh, labeling and, uh, mm, but the more tools, uh, it's better. And uh, what tools, uh, what your plan of uh, implementation of new tools, for example, uh, probably some uh, shells annotation so medical imaging annotation because such tool is pretty hard uh, to develop yourself and uh, we'll see what help uh, people to uh, develop such tools and uh, how see what will support people in this way or do we plan to focus just on uh, base annotation tools like skeletons like uh, detection like uh, cuboid and, and so on I mean, like CVAT is super community driven. And the main reason for that is the team is actually super small. So like if you compare it to, you know, well-known, I would say products that are competitors to CVAT, uh, typically big product, like products in this space have like uh, 50 plus uh, engineers working on that, right? Uh, CVAT, most of its kind of history, like six year history, had four engineers or something like that. So it's actually a very, very small team. Uh, I guess the key to it, its success is that uh, the team always worked like super closely to a real annotation team that would annotate real data. And uh, basically uh, they, give, they give the insights that are needed to create the tool that works and works fast. Uh, 
so right now, SIVA doesn't have kind of specific plan to help uh, annotate this kind of data. But uh, like if we see that community wants it, it's, you know, very, very probable that CVAT will include that into the roadmap. And uh, what about uh, implement, uh, implementing your own tool into CVAT? I never tried to do this because I always think that it's super hard. And <laughs> usually I wrote my uh, some labeling tool myself when they are not uh they were not supported by Sivat. and uh we probably i'm mistaken and it's pretty easy to implement new tool into Sivat. or probably uh, you will uh, append such functionality for example probably you know taloka uh, it's pretty easy to implement your own tool to label the data and uh will you work uh will Sivat develop in this uh, way or uh, no? Well, it's it's a tough question and probably my answer will be like the previous one. So right now we don't have a strong signal from the community that this is something that many people need. Um, and if it, if it changes, we will be happy to uh, kind of include that into the roadmap, but so far it's not. Um, so like, it actually depends on what you mean by kind of integrating your own tool into the into CVAT. Uh, you can contribute, for example, your kind of way to annotate the data or your, you know, pre-annotated uh, kind of model that can pre-annotate the data. No, no, I speak about a bit different. For example, uh, like, uh, mm, I like Kuboid tools, but uh, I need to... Mm, made some modification, for example, some fixed size cuboid or something like this. And uh, how easy it will be uh, to um, implement new tool uh, to label, uh, because in some labeling project, you can just, uh, they have like API or some SDK functionalities when you can write a container with your own tool and connect it pretty easily. And uh, in some different project, uh, it's pretty. You need to understand the code base first, uh, how it uh, this tool work, and uh, this implementation process is pretty hard. And uh, I always think that uh, this process is pretty hard in Sivat, by but probably I'm mistaken. And uh, uh, how do you plan? Uh, is it easy or is it hard? It's hard. <laughs> so okay. it's it's not straightforward that's for sure um but uh good good news is uh like the skeleton tool that we are working on right now the tool to annotate skeletons it's pretty general in a sense that you can actually annotate uh, many auxiliary forms using that many auxiliary shapes using that uh not necessarily kind of only human skeleton it and it has nice way to kind of set it up pretty convenient so I actually expect that you, people may want to use this uh, skeleton feature to indeed many different types of features that are not supported right now. Okay, yeah. and uh, uh, about uh, active learning, uh, I have another question. It's um, mm, how you, think it will uh, look like uh, in the future because uh, mm, on your current site uh, I checked that you uh, integrated to uh, Amazon uh, AWS and uh, something like this do you plan to uh, can it be containerized uh, for uh, training in, on some uh, uh, Google GCP or some Amazon or some other uh, platforms or uh, will it be in your clouds uh, especially or uh, how you plan to develop this active learning and uh, uh, things like this yeah so we expect this to run right along our cloud uh, our cloud uh, containers right and for now at least i mean it's like super early right but for now, we don't expect to this feature to be like super portable. The main goal for us is to get the feedback. Uh, does it really help? 
Uh, does it accelerate the annotation the way we wanted it? Stuff like that. Uh, so at least for you know several months until the end of this year, I don't foresee that. Excellent. Thank you very much for the answers. Uh, I'm very glad that uh, Sivad got a new development direction and uh, will get even better. Uh, and I want to uh, re remind our viewers that uh, they can support it on Product Hunt. Uh, and uh, thank you for answers. Uh, bye. Thank you so much. Bye.